Hello, and today we are looking at my winding heat machine. Uh, a friend of mine wants to have a look at this, so I thought power it up and see if it's working. And unfortunately, we've got a bit of a problem. So let's fire it up. Now, if you heard that noise there, sort of like FUD noise, that was the degaussing circuit kicking in. So we know that the monitor is actually getting some power, um, but we don't actually get any picture on the display. So let's see if no absolutely nothing as far as I can see. But the game is booting as you can start it. Let's just switch off again. If it's got a shorted horizontal transistor on this monitor, um, it tends to make a ticking noise. Let's listen carefully. No. Can't hear any obvious ticking. So I think we need to get the meter on and check the uh, supply voltage out on it. So this is the Wells Garner U5000 monitor. Now they made it really hard to get to the B plus test point. It's actually located there next to that capacitor. You can barely see it. So I had to take this plug off to get to it. And that's right in the back of the monitor. So I've basically got get a little clip probe in there and then reconnect that connector there. Right, so we're seeing about 132 on the B plus. So power supply is working to some extent. Right, so we're looking at the monitor chassis on the bench, and I thought it'd be a good idea to start going through some of these larger uh, high power resistors as they're a common failing point, um, as they either fracture from vibration or just because they've got high current going through them, they, they can be fail before the smaller low current resistors. Uh, anyway, um, uh, I've probably tested about five resistors, I've been basically checking them off on the parts list, and I came across this one here, which is R120 in the power supply section. There we go. Okay, so it's a multimeter. That's a, I think that's a 68, uh, 68k ohm resistor. And my multimeter says that's infinite resistance. So that is dead. That didn't take too long. I mean, I don't know if that's everything that's faulted. Probably there might be other components. There usually is more than one. When one thing fails, it normally kills something else. But uh, I've actually found a starting point pretty quickly. I don't think I'll have a, what is that, a 2 watt, I think. I don't think I'll have one of those in stocks, but I think I'll buy some of those. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, it's a good start. I'm glad that's happened. Well, I've managed to find this uh, scrap U5000 chassis, and it does have R120 present. However, it looks suspiciously lower current than the one I've just removed. So I'll see if I, I'll, I'll take this down and test it. And if it's okay, I'll fit it to this chassis, and I'll probably order some new ones because that doesn't look like a 2 watt one. That looks like a 1 maybe. So uh, anyway, let's give it a go. And just a quick test that that resistor is good, it is indeed a 68k. So I'm continuing to check through the horizontal drive section of this monitor as it's still not working. Uh, I'm just basically marking off everything I've checked. I've come across this resistor here, which is R760. I don't think where that is in the diagram. Uh, there it is, so that's R760 there. So that's a 470 ohm half watt, and this is that resistor. And it's uh, yellow, purple, brown, so that is 470, it's 47 times 10. And it's reading, I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but anyway, it's reading 4.1k, roughly. So that's way out of spec. So I've just got a, a new one here to fit in. This is a, as it's a four band, it's 47, 0 times 0, so 470. So that's the one I want to put in, that's a half watt. So, as it turns out, my diagnosis was correct, and those two resistors that I placed were in fact the fault that was stopping the monitor from powering up. There's a bit of a pin cushioning issue on it at the minute, but I just wanted to get this up and running for the party tomorrow, so we'll deal with that another time. For now, it's working.